Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Benghini. If you're new, you are most definitely welcome. You are my guy. I had a song in my mind for you guys, but I don't remember. Elf, Elf Makeup, they just came out with a bunch of products i didn't even get all i couldn't get all because i was like charlie <laughs> it was just a lot for my budget they just came up with a cannabis hemp derived cannabis sativa product with a little hit of hydration so i decided to get this it comes in single product anyways which is much more bigger but because I was testing it out and for the video purposes, I decided to get this just because I wanted to try it out. Their eyeshadow range is so gorgeous. <laughs> I saw this coming. <laughs> okay, let me take my time and show it to you guys. Let me show you the nudes first. They have these. I think they have even three nudes. I just didn't get all three. Look is basically going to be like a full face elf makeup and also reviewing their new product so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please 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 do that and turn on the bell button so you're notified whenever i put up a new video and let us go into the video so because it is skincare and makeup i'm going to first use the product in the skincare in the skincare kit so they have a primer they have a moisturizer they have an oil and then a lip balm this is the lip balm they call this calm balm do you guys see and then it's a twist up type of lip balm and it looks like in kuto so i actually like it i already have a lip balm on so <laughs> This is something that I'll keep around for a while. It doesn't have any smell. It doesn't smell like anything. And it's smooth. I like it. I love I love how the lip balm applies. I'm gonna keep this around. The next thing I'm gonna take is the moisturizer. This is the happy hydration cream. I already did my skincare, but I left just like one extra space for more moisturizer. So, and I'll just this as well doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have a smell that's like you can't stand. It doesn't smell good. It's not a smell that's like a nice fragrance. That's a radiation. No, it's not that vibe. But it also doesn't smell bad. You know what I mean. So the next thing I'm gonna go in for is the oil. All the feels. And in all honesty, I've tried these. I've tried the oil before because I got samples. I got samples of the oil, so I have. I sort of know how the oil applies. Yeah. So I'm just going to take about like two drops of that. Oh no, that was three. That wasn't two. That was never two, sis. Let me just start from my neck. And then just sort of press it in. And it's not the type of oil that is like so heavy. If you don't feel. I'm impressed. The skincare is not bad. Hmm, I'm impressed. I like it. So the next thing in the box, or the la that's the last thing actually, is their primer. And I love the name. It says Puff Puff Primer. <laughs> it's like Puff Puff Primer. <laughs> and this is this is literally how it looks like. So you can just like concentrate it in the areas you need it to be. It actually feels it actually feels mud. <laughs> I thought this line was supposed to be a hydrating line. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 
Oh, the primer actually feels like a thicker moisturizer. So it probably is not so much. So now we're gonna go into the makeup part of it and I have their foundation but this wasn't my shade when I got it. I got it like about a month ago or two months ago and it wasn't my shade. It was too, too bright for me and it's in the shade Coco. Crazy, right? Like it's literally in the shade Coco but it didn't work for me. But I'm gonna try it again because it's been a while. And I, I might have lightened up a little. So I'm going to try just one draw one. Oh, this is too light, sis. We can't do this. This is too much. I can't light blend this thing. No, this is too light. So I'm gonna use a different foundation and then I'll come back and then we'll, we'll use the concealer. So it was actually very good that I used a different foundation. Because when I was blending my foundation, I just thought about the fact that, ooh, I'm very sure people would want to know how this primer would go with other foundations. And then, yeah, because you might not want to use a L foundation, but you might want to use a primer because a primer seems good. The primer feels good. And then it did work with the foundation flawlessly. You guys, that's why I wanted to show you guys so that you guys will see how the primer pairs with just a different foundation and not a foundation from elf and i think it did it did like really well i'm impressed in all honesty so i wanted to show you guys i just wanted to show you guys so if you want to get the primer then do get it because it works it works really good and it's thick enough it's thick but it doesn't feel like thick like heavy on your face no but it gives you good enough like coverage or whatever i like it i like the primer i'm gonna keep the primer the next thing i'm going to talk about aside the concealer the concealer is on you i've had it for a while i'm pretty sure you guys know about this but they also came out with concealer uh what's it called a beauty blender for the concealer so the beauty blender is a camo concealer sponge and then they says they say that it works well with their camo concealers and this is their camo concealer so yeah let's let's just do it this this concealer though is really light so i usually don't use too much of it but that's the only thing from elf that i have so i guess i have to thread cautiously and i'm gonna go make this a little damp because i don't know if they yes they say on the box that i should dampen it a little so i'll do that and come back let me show you guys how it looks like this is the actual size and it's not the shape of a regular beauty blender see it's literally it's literally like an oval shape all through so yeah i pray this concealer is not dried oh my god you know what? Don't worry. Oh my god. The best I can do with this is a brush. The concealer dried down really quick and I couldn't do anything with the beauty blender literally anything because it was so dry i'm sure you guys can see that it was so dry oh one of my nose is messed up hmm as you guys can see the concealer dried down really quick and i couldn't i should have dumped the con the beauty blender before sitting down but i wanted to take it out of the box directly and show it to you guys and this happened so i'm going to go right with my maybelline concealer to just sort of add some more coverage and correct a few things that needs to be corrected so it's also good that you guys saw it because 
at least that way you know that elf's concealer dries down really dry and quick so you need to be very quick if you're working with elf <laughs> not a good idea you know what i'm gonna wipe all of this off in take two okay take two let's let's do this again okay my loves we're back i had to take all of that off it was too much so now i'm gonna use the same concealer again i'm sorry i'm having some gelato this stuff is so good okay so <clears throat> I have the same foundation on literally the same products that i put on before i have them on now so i'm gonna use the concealer again but this time i have the beauty blender already so then i figure it won't dry down because this stuff is good i love i love their concealer same beauty blender because i need you guys to know how this thing works on its own and they say that it works good with their concealer so let's go and see i told you this stuff is good See, I told you, I told you guys, this this stuff is good, it's amazing. It gives you like really nice coverage. I don't know why she was trying to act funny. So I finished doing my brows. I wanted to quickly do my brows, but I used their pencil. And because it's not new, I didn't want to really talk about it. And then I also contoured my face with the Juvia's Place. Thing that i've been using to contour my face everything will be in the description box below everything that i use that is an elf that is an elf makeup will be in the description box below so the next thing is their setting powder this is the halo glow setting powder sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish this is in a shade deep i presume this was a darker shade because this is deep obviously and I think this is the last one that I saw. So I'm gonna use that to I'm gonna use that to set the highlighted areas. I'm using the beauty blender. Oh my god. Mm, is this a highlighter? so beautiful hmm. I see this is actually something this is actually something that you can mix in with your powder I presume because I think by itself it looks it, uh, it looks a little like a highlighter mm, I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm going to mix it in with a little of my Espon loose face powder and see how I like it together. Yeah, and just so I can get like a tiny bit of the glow and not like this type of glow. Do you guys see what I mean? I don't want to get this much glow. It's a beautiful concept. Like it's a nice powder. But I'd rather you mix it in with your actual setting powder because it gives you a pretty nice glow, you know? Rather than like using it by itself. It's too much for me. So the next thing is going to be the eyeshadow that they came out with. They came out with liquid eyeshadows guys this these ones i'm so excited look at this look at this blue it's so beautiful it's like so beautiful 
and then this other shade they came out with like six different types of these shades i got only two and then they came out with six different types of these like four four pan type eyeshadow and i got i got like two nudes and like two colorful ones so this is cream and sugar it's like a really nice nude palette really cute and portable and these shades i know they are going to show up because they look really pigmented so that's cream and sugar second nude that i have is very bad this is very bad and she's ooh, my nails she's so beautiful she is a rose gold nude this stuff excites me you guys know that i love rose gold so this is something that i'm going to this is something that you can definitely own like oh my god it's so beautiful once i saw it i'm like you know what i need to get this i need to get this and then the next one that i have is a colorful palette it's called carnival candy let me show you guys how oh my god do you see the shade why would they do this it's so pretty it's like so pretty and then the last shade that i have is truffles it's truffles yes and truffles I'd say truffles is like a nighttime look type of thing, dinner type of thing, award show type of thing, you know, red carpet type of thing. This is so beautiful. Elf doing the most with eyeshadow. Wow. Look at the packaging. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God see it's so beautiful so this is in the shade ocean eyes ocean eyes is so beautiful and i feel like ocean eyes matches a lot with the shade right here in the carnival candy palette and then the next shade that i have for the liquid glitter is <sighs> Is she gorgeous? And this is Dirty Martini. Oh my god, Dirty Martini. And she's literally a shade of gold, but like a very metallic shade of gold. Let me do the swatches. Let me do a swatch of this. Ooh. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Oh, that's a lie. Oh, it's beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So, I'm not I'm not going to swatch the these because it will make the video way too long, way too long. But the palette that I really want to use today is Carnival Candy. She's the one that I'm going to go into today. I'm going to work solely with her today. I have my brushes ready, ready to play. Ready to play or whatever. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to take is this shade right here. This brown shade right here. I'll use that for my... No, let me prime my eyelids first. Let me prime my eyelids. Okay, my eyelids are prepped now. They are primed now. I'm going to go in with the brown shade that I showed you guys. And I'll use that for... I'll use that as like a transition shade. And I'm wondering how that brown shade will show up on me though. But I'm already seeing it, Charlie. Ooh, that's like a pretty new shade for the whole of your eyelid, man. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is this shade, this shade right here. I don't know what name to call it because they didn't give it any name. So it's like a brown shade, but not so brown. And I'll put that directly here. And it is pigmented. Hey, hey, elf. I am so happy. Because e.l.f. is actually a drugstore makeup brand. So it's something that is easy to find on the market. So I'm actually very happy that they gave us like really to-go eyeshadows like this. Like this is something that I love. I love stuff that are quite quick on the go. Something that pick me up. I'm so... What told me? What bought me? I don't even know what to say. Okay, so this is... I'm also going to bring it to the outer V of my eye, like so. I'm confused, I don't know. Should I do a halo? Maybe. Maybe we should do a halo. Maybe it won't be a bad idea. Maybe. Charming. One, two, three. Elf, 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 elf. I'm, I'm so happy about this. So both eyes are done. I am going to go ahead and cut my halo crease. I'm excited. Because the shade looks really good with my skin tone. Oh my god. So my halo crease is done. I have concealer all over my <laughs> all over my lashes. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is this. You guessed it. This this shade, this blue shade. It looks so beautiful. It's literally screaming my name. I'm using my Evita brush. I'm going to take the shade by itself without wetting my brush because I want to really know how it applies. So. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's literally ocean eyes. Literally ocean eyes. You have to like top it up a few more layers before you actually see the shade. But it's not so much work to do. Ooh, ocean eyes. I'm going to wet the brush and use it on the other eye so that you guys see. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Ooh. And there's not, there's literally no fallout. Literally no fallout. So I'm going to take the, the brown shade and then just sort of use it to blend out the outer areas of the crease, the halo crease, just so it's not like over the top. And there we have it. Literally, there we have it. That is what I envisioned once I saw the palette. I knew that I wanted the blue on my eyes. And then I knew that I also wanted the other shade that I, should, uh, I used on my eyes. So, so over a period of time, I'll be showing all the other shades so that you guys see how they all work but the main products were the skincare products and also the eyeshadow products so yeah guys this is the eye look 
this is literally the eye look i'm gonna put on some lashes i am gonna put on some lashes and i forgot to do my under eyes so let me do that as well the shade that i use the same shade i'm going to use that for my under eye <laughs> i'm gonna go finish off the rest of the look and i will come back and then we'll have a little talk so this is the whole look i really like the lip I don't know i just put two and two together like three different colors together and then it came out like this i really like the lip i like the fact that the lip is not taking concentration off the eyes and also i put some of the blue shade on my lower lid and then i put the first crease shade beneath it so it gives it literally oh my god i'm so in love with this eye look i'm so in love with this eye look guys everything else that i used that wasn't from elf is going to be in the description box below but let me know what you think of the look in the comment section below also give this video a thumbs up if you like this whole look so we've come to the end of this video let me know if you like this video in the comment section below like i said before give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and also if you want to see more ravishness subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video guys Mwah.